welcome back thanks so much for tuning in i've been waiting for you so this evening we are experiencing a lunar forecast of not only a full moon but the final solar eclipse actually a lunar eclipse all right so this full moon is a time of expansion rather than focusing backwards on limiting beliefs or fears that may have been projected into your reality this is a time to rise above all of that that may have been holding you back all right and so what spirit is guiding us to do right now is to focus on us being limitless infinite immeasurable whole and wholeness is not about anybody else but about self right so as we begin to focus more so on clearing away anything from the past focusing more so on our present and embracing the possibilities of the future the full moon is a time for us to really embrace this and be really in tune with our current existence no matter what that is and knowing that wherever you currently are is not a permanent fixture but just a point along your journey is basically what i want to say about it so by focusing more so on being eternally worthy enough and also self-assured this is stepping into our infinite power our power that we get from the most high the creator instead of viewing any type of lack in our life spirit wants us to focus more so on what it is that we do have so that we're able to magnetize that wealth discovering the magic that exists within us is amazing and it's a magical process because when you begin to focus more so on what it is that you do have, you're going to be able to see more so of the great things that are coming towards you. So during this time, allow yourself to stop striving so much and simply be. You don't have to really focus hard on the life that you're wanting to create, but experiencing the life that you do have right now. And at times it may seem a bit difficult. You may encounter some level of resistance, but spirit is guiding us to surrender to the fears and the limitations and open ourselves up to really embrace the dreams that we want to see come into reality so the question is how do you honor the power of this lunar cycle the full moon and so i created like a few bullet points to show this first express gratitude for all that you currently have and all that is on the way to you two Reflect on all that you have created and manifested during this past lunar cycles. Three, use positive affirmations so that you can increase your vibration. Because if you vibrate in an energy of happiness and peace, then you attract more so of that to you. All right, and so moving forward, four, express some level of creativity in a fun way. So this could be like, this could be in a form of creating things, whether you want to draw, paint, you know, you could be somebody that you write. It could be a whole variety of different things, but just focus more so on the things that you're able to do that you can be creative as. Even if you're, you know, you want to do your hair, just something that you can express your creative abilities. All right. And so moving forward, we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Focus more so on the things that are currently bringing you joy. Now, for some people, this could be more of a strain for you based on what type of situation you're dealing with. But simply, if you can find joy in looking at the clouds, you can find joy in, you know, um, spending some time with those that you really value and care about. Just focusing on that joy is going to help you amplify, bring in more so of what you want in your reality. Moving forward, we have embrace positive feelings and attributes about yourself so this could be a difficult one especially if you're someone and you may have been in the midst of individuals that try to highlight anything that they see as a detriment to you or or you know a lot of this it really has nothing to do with you but if you can find a way to embrace positive feelings that you have about yourself and express positive emotions to your to yourself that is a way that you can heal aspects of yourself and vibrate higher lastly the other thing i put here is surrender and allow yourself to just be so oftentimes if we are pursuing something whether that is a career you could be um improving your health 
and you may have in your mind, okay, I have to do this, okay, I, I need to do that. And sometimes we can get caught up in the act of doing when really the key is really being. So not put all that pressure on yourself because sometimes when we pressure ourselves that, okay, I have to complete all these tasks, like those tasks, those responsibilities more than likely are still going to be there. So it may be important for you to pace yourself and allow yourself to literally just be. We're going to go into some affirmations during this full moon that's going to embody not only trust, inner peace, gratitude, but also self-love. And I encourage you to utilize these affirmations. You can simply listen to me recite these affirmations. You can recite them with me. Um, you can also utilize these affirmations for yourself uh, as a journal prompt, but truly focus on embracing yourself, envisioning yourself in your highest form as your best version of yourself so that you can create the life that you want and stop dreaming about it and step into that. We're going to shift timelines tonight all right and always remember that you are infinitely worthy you have the ability to not only dream but create and align so that you can receive all of this that you desire all right so let's get started first and foremost i want you to find a quiet place if possible that you can really commit this time to this practice okay this is very important for you to put yourself first take a deep breath in Exhale, let's begin. I am grateful for my courageous mind, my resilience and deep inner strength. I am proud of my journey and how far I've come. In this moment, I am exactly where I am supposed to be. Everything is always working out for me for my highest good. I am thankful for this very moment exactly as it is. I am grateful for my loving heart, healthy mind, and radiant soul. I love and appreciate everything about me in this moment, exactly as I am right now. I feel peace and relaxation knowing that God has me. I am aligned with the loving spirit of the universe. Love and gratitude flow to and through me in all aspects of my life. I honor my inner knowing and trust my sacred path. Even when the world is immersed in darkness and hatred, I walk forward in faith, love, and light. I choose faith over fear and peace over poverty. I bravely let go and allow the universe to reveal this beautiful plan for my life. I trust that the universe gives me exactly what I need, exactly the right time, I possess a loving, bold, and peaceful soul. My imagination is vast, expansive, and endless. My imagination is limitless. I embrace the creative genius within me, within my children, within my loved ones. I allow myself to dream beyond the confines of my physical reality now. I possess unlimited power from God. All of the good I put out in the world always comes back to me 100 fold. I am tuned into a positive disposition. I have the ability to overcome all darkness, all hatred, all lower emotions. I am ready, willing, and able to have the type of life that I desire. I'm aligned with the energy of pure peace. I'm connected to an infinite source from God. I release limits and boundaries. I embrace my potential and my possibilities. I trust myself and I believe everything is always working out for me. I tap into my inner power and I embrace the magic of love for self. I surrender my resistance and I allow the universe to give me everything I need and want. I release the need to control anything or anyone. I surrender my life to God's will. 
I trust my intuition and listen to the wisdom of God that comes directly to me. Everything is unfolding perfectly. I trust the vision that God has for my life. I believe in the power of God and I receive it. All right, so those were some affirmations. I hope that you are allowing these things to really penetrate your subconscious mind so that you can create a new type of inner dialogue that supports the type of life that you want. All right, so furthermore, what are your favorite ways to use your affirmations? Feel free to comment any insight into that below. And also, if you are interested in any resources in regarding to spirituality, meditation, and manifestations, feel free to check out any of my other content. Until next time, vibe higher and thrive. Bye.